All right, it is time for what is probably going to be our biggest series of the season up to this point. So naturally, we're going to leave the first one completely up to the uh, wonders of the computer. Uh, let's take a look at the lineups here. We got headlights behind. Let's uh, do a wellness check here, see how we're doing. Everyone is looking good, actually, which is nice. Um, I'm thinking that I would like pretend as catcher for this one and um let's see here short second um <laughs> i think we're pretty good and jasmine on the mound of course so we are home for this series and then we really do hit the road i actually looked at the schedule uh between the last episode and this one and uh, i believe we go to canada i did look at the schedule i didn't say i memorized it um but uh, here we go day game overcast skies out in detroit for game one of this crazy series here against the western travelers who are currently dominating in the west go ahead and give you a look at the lineups as we get ready to get this one underway Empty box score, and we hope it goes our way. Power hitters, these guys. So we will see what becomes of them as Jasmine throws the first pitch. And we are underway in game one. So here we go. Swing and a miss. Hope we see more of that. And the defense makes the first out in one piece. All right, well, I, uh, my desk where I have all my stuff here is kind of a mess, so, oops, I'm throwing stuff. And, ooh, what a stop there. And, uh, just like that, we have two out. On top of the first. Here's the turtles. Jasmine starting off all right. Ooh, just got a piece, did see turtles. Ball inside. All right. Don't panic. All right, a walk there for sea turtles. Now batting the right fielder, number 45. Oof. Forest fires lighting it up and lighting that one up, and she is going to be gone. A two-run shot, that's what happens when you have a power-hitting team like the Travelers. Forest Fires gives the Travelers a two-run lead. Scary times. Website standing in. And that could be the end of the inning, and it will be. So, a couple of runs there on the homer, and here come the victory for the bottom of inning number one. So, here's headlights. Starting in this one. I can't read it because headlights is too busy getting a hit, which we will take, you bet. Ridley Williams, I'm not sure. That must be a CPU guy. And a pop-up for the ages, and that'll be out number one. There's math books. Hoping for success. Checking on the runner is back. Let's see. We got a five, just over a five ERA for the starter there. Get down, ball. No dice there. I don't believe the runner moved up either. All right, now I think we have, is it still Hazel? It is, we've kept her at 
DH. Not that she's necessarily done great there, but we've done all right. And that's a pop-up. That's probably playable. And of course it is. So there go the victory. Threatening, but not able to capitalize as we move on to inning number two. But I uh, hope you're doing well as I'm recording this. It is Black Friday. Just strike. Hope you're uh, out finding some deals. Of course, with the uh, online things being what they are, Black Friday seems to be a little bit uh, calmer, I suppose. Um, my girlfriend and I went around town today a little bit. Um, not really looking for anything specifically. Here's a fair ball. That's going to be trouble back there. All right. Not what you want to see, but maybe Jasmine can work herself out of it. Um, but I did get a new uh, guitar, which I will have a video about. And there's one. So I'm excited about that. Um, I, uh, I'll tell you the story a little more in detail for those that are watching the baseball. Um, so I have a, I had a Taylor 12 string, and I, I've been meaning to take it in to get it restrung and um, do some neck adjustments because the weather here in Minnesota is starting to take a toll on it. And when I took it in, I just asked, I said, well, you know, hypothetically, if I were to find something, do you guys do trade-ins at all? And um, people at this local shop said, well, you know, not usually, but what do you have? And I said, well, I've got a Taylor 12 string. And uh, they said, well, we could talk about it, you know, just go ahead and uh, play what you, you know, play the guitars and, and see what you like and then if you find something let us know and um, I played quite a few they had a good selection actually and um, oof, catch that ball all right no further damage Jasmine putting up a zero in the top of the second do nothing travelers and that's going to bring up Piper um, and so I played guitars, and I found one that actually I was very impressed with. It reminded me a lot of the old guitar that I have. It's Piper getting something going. You bet we'll take that. All right. Who are you? Is that Barry? I think that's Barry. Um, I, I played this guitar that reminded me a lot of the old guitar I had, who I named Nora. And Nora was like a thermal-aged... Um, uh, I'm gonna get it wrong. Albanez guitar. Oh, striking out. I'm sorry, Barry. All right. This is Candy Corn. Um, played this guitar. I liked it, and I it was listed for about 600 bucks. And um, I kind of was, you know, if I can get the trade in, I'll think about it. Otherwise, I don't know. And so I went and I got my guitar, and I had them take a look, and they were pretty impressed. I. I Try to take good care of my guitars, and uh, that was noticed, which I appreciate because I, I, I do try to um, to care for them. Oh, good! I'm glad that got foul. Um. Ah, sorry, there, Candy. All right, and that's gonna bring up Charlie. Um. So I, I brought the guitar, and they looked at it. They said they liked it, and they were possibly willing to do it they had to kind of talk to their guy and so we we left i had them hold on to the one i was looking at and uh, they called me back within an hour on the wednesday before thanksgiving which was just i was very impressed by that very fast turnaround time and uh, they said their guy had taken a look at mine and, and said that um i could do about half the value of the new guitar if i was going to go that way um and uh oh we're held in check there as we move to the third still two nothing and uh, so, of course, yesterday was the holiday, and I uh, went today to pick it up, and everyone was really nice, um, and uh, ended up getting a case and the guitar for less than what the guitar itself should have been worth, um, which I just, I feel really good about the trade, and, and they were really nice about everything, which you have to appreciate, and a defensive error is going to spell trouble for us to lead off the inning. Um, but I, I love this guitar. Uh, Check out the video if it is up. Um, if it is not, it will be soon. Um, 
It's a beautiful guitar, and, and um, the way I would explain it is that the first guitar that I had that I really bought on my own, it was about a $400 guitar, it was a very l consistent sound. It was a, a sound that I liked, um, and it was fun to play. And um, that got me through some gigs in college, doing some things around my campus and, and uh, open mic type things, that kind of stuff. Um, and then when I got the 12 string, I just I was looking for something different. I, I wanted something that was going to kind of shake up how I play. And it was fun, but I I don't feel like I progressed with that guitar. It, it always was fighting me back a little bit. All right, we'll take it. We'll take it, and no more runs given up. Jasmine, after giving up two, has settled in in this one as we move to the bottom of the third. And um, the 12 string was fun, and I enjoyed playing it, but I, I took it to the, the child care center, and I just kind of was playing the same stuff over and over. Please let that be, uh, I was going to say let that be playable. It is not. Um, well. Oh, wait, never mind. That was for us. Uh, blind moment. Legally blind and legally blonde. All right. Yay, home run. Good. I was excited the whole time. What are you talking about? But um, when I picked up this guitar that I got, I, I felt like for when I, you know, play on it, uh, it gives things back in a more dynamic way. It's a solid wood guitar made of all black walnut, which I had not heard of as a, a tone wood before. Um, and it just sounds amazing. It's, it's a little bit brighter than I usually like in, in acoustic guitars. I, I like the darker, warmer tones of, like, mahogany or um, ebony sometimes can do that. Um, and, um, but it has, like, when you're kind of playing quieter and, and softer, it has this really dynamic, like, softer range to it. But if you really kind of dig into this thing and, and start playing, um, it gives it out well. And I, I appreciated that. And, um, I want to look at doing lessons again. I it just it's been a while, but I can play chords and I can move a capo, and those things are going to sound great with this guitar. But I want to take that further. Let's go two home runs in a row. Ah, no, the camera fooled me, fooled me. But we're only down by one as we move into the fourth on this Black Friday ball game. But uh, yeah, I don't know. It just. Um, I'm excited. It's something new, um, and I got a good enough deal on it that with the trade and the fact that I was probably going to look to sell another one if I was going to buy another guitar anyway, um, the people at this store have always been really nice, and um, I really appreciate them. So, um, yeah, exciting things might lead to more music on the channel at some point. Um, She's an all-acoustic guitar, so I don't have the means to do, like, effects or anything like that at the moment. I may look at... I had a sound hole pickup for the really old guitar that I actually just got rid of about three or four months ago. Um, because I was like, oh, I have one that plugs in. I don't need that anymore. And, of course, here we are. But, um, that's all right. I know... I think I've actually still got it on... Saved on Amazon from, from when I had purchased that one, so... Um... But, uh, yeah, I don't know. I'm looking forward to it. New things. Jasmine's really not pitching badly. Just don't miss in the zone, please. And there's a walk. I say that, and then she gives up a walk. But that's all right. We're getting things moving. We got a couple of outs, and uh, not a lot of pressure. Runners going, and in there. Stolen pace. Ouchie. Did you guys play? Oh, that's gone. Well... So much for the good pitching. I didn't say anything. Well, like I shouldn't have said anything. That thing that almost hit the scoreboard. Ugh. Oh. Ouchie. Blah, blah, blah. Go away. Yikes. Four to one as we play the fourth in this one. And my plan is that after watching this game... We will simulate the middle two games of this series, and then I will play game four. Um, I'm not thinking that any of those are going to go our way. This team is just too solid on the hitting front, and we're going to go down another run, aren't we? Maybe not quite. Okay. All right, Jasmine. Get yourself together here. I'd like to see her do well. In this spot, 0-1 after the foul there. Feeling a little better than I was in the previous 
part of this. Um, I still have something. I kind of cold yeah. symptoms, I guess. And uh, there we go. So we get out of it. No further damage. Only two apiece in, in two different innings. For this team and what we're doing, this is not that bad. Come on, Hazel. That's up. Let's get something going. 2-0 count. You got it. Hope everyone has uh, had a good Thanksgiving and uh, is having a good Black Friday. Any big shopping plans, any big purchases you've been kind of waiting on? That's the Midwestern way, at least to me, is you, you sit on something you've been thinking about and you wait for that deal. There's nothing that we like much better than getting a good deal in the Midwest, and I think that's very true. Um, for myself especially, I mean, there's... Um, if you guys have seen my videos about the long hairs, they have... Probably the best Black Friday of any company I've, I've come across thus far. That's going to be trouble. But, uh, so I'm planning on picking up a few things from them, but I was having issues with my card and, you know, all websites, all that. Oh, caught stealing, and that's too gone. Why are we stealing? This team has no speed. That was kind of my caveat for having good fielding, was that I was going to not have high speed for almost anybody. And just like that, our inning is done. Well, 4-1, to one, we go to the 5th. Um, oof. Come on, Jasmine. Pull yourself together, man. Beautiful pitch there. But hope you're doing well. Um, it's a busy time of year. I, I realize that... Um, things just get crazy for everybody. Excuse me, and I hope you have time to, you know, relax. Um, I'm lucky in that I have still two more days off work. Um, today is Friday, of course, and then the regular weekend, so I'm, I'm looking forward to just kind of get some rest and relaxation. Um, I think tomorrow or Sunday, my girlfriend and I are going to go to the restaurant we go to just about every weekend. Um, and other than that, I don't have a lot of plans. I just want to take it easy, you know? Right, Jasmine, come on now. Mm. A few walks in this one for Jasmine T. And she is gone, and ditto ditto who pitched reasonably in her last outing I believe um, I think she did a few innings for us let's see what she's got a high ERA Three strikeouts on the year make that 21 all right so the bullpen trying to take over, keep the deficit right where it is, and keep us in line for the win. Of course, we are in the fifth, so Ditto will be on the line for this one, assuming she makes it through this inning, of course. But I've uh, been looking at, possibly, um, I can't figure out how to do franchise mode with Axis Football, so I'm a little bit miffed on that. But I'm looking at maybe looking for a used Madden and doing some football just for fun. Probably nothing too serious. I don't know anything about football, so. Um, but I don't know. I'm kind of trying to think of another way to do some other sports games like this. I, I'm really enjoying this series. I hope you are as well. Um, I've said it before, but if you want your, your name in the game or uh, have some ideas for some signs and releases... Um, player development, anything that you want to see with the series, let me know. And we're going to go up, down rather, another run on that play. So 5-1 Travelers. I mean, the fact that we've scored on them is good. No shutout today. Um, I don't know how to feel about that for the rest of this series. This is a big one for us. So we'll see what happens. And, of course, we'll play the last game and... My hope is for a split. Um, and they're aggressive. They're still stealing on us despite being up four. I'm a big fan of that. But Ditto. Getting herself a strikeout there to get out of it. 
Only one allowed there. 5-1 in the bottom of the fifth now. All right, Candy Corn. Hoping maybe the bullpen has to do some work here. And Candy is gone. Got some really exciting things in development for the channel, by the way. Um, just about ready to come out with some of that in, in the next, uh, I would say, days and weeks. So, looking forward to that. Hope you are as well. I haven't, uh, I've hinted at a little bit. New look is, is what I would say. Um, and I'm, I'm really looking forward to uh, taking things up a notch in terms of what was designed and um, all right we'll take a we'll take a runner here the left fielder, number 47. and to the top of the order we go with headlights and um, she's looking to cut into this deficit and count and two two outs for headlights That's outside. Two, two, two. Two's all over the joint. And striking out his headlights. And we move to the six, still down by four. Ditto. Pitching pretty well thus far. And uh, she will be relieved by Miss Ella. I want to see her do well. She had a some kind of a development that she was able to take part in, and that led to good things for her as she gets the first out. Here? One thing I'd really like to do with sports games is I, I want more um, storylines for these characters. You know, Ella is someone who has struggled to, to start the season, but as she's growing, I mean, you can see her confidence. Or, you know, her stats, but, you know, her confidence uh, leading to, to better results for her. Um, she still struggles to find the zone at times, um, but, uh... Come on, catch that. Ah, not quite. Come on, Ella. All right, that should be playable. Left field, third base, something like that. You bet. Nice inning for Elevator. It's up a zero. Five, one. Let's get it going, girls. So I hope you're enjoying this series. This is something that I, as a, as a content creator and someone who just, I have a love for baseball, I, I love doing this. And I love this team. They're all silly. Um, hmm. But uh, I, I like watching them grow, and, and after the season, we'll see who wants to stick around and, and have a multi-inning or multi-year, you know, stay with, uh, with Detroit. I will make an effort to keep um, people like Ella. Uh, people like, um, I think of who else sticks around in my head right now. Charlie Angels uh, has done well for us. Um, Ella Jasmine, I would like to see her develop a little bit more. Um, you know, there's some people I could see. Uh, Allie Katz, if we don't sign and release her, I would let her go if she decides not to stick around. All right, trying to get something going here. Hazel's the one you'd want up. Let's let's get something moving here. Oh, there is the diagram for the runners. I've never been able to find that before because it's so far out of my field of vision over here. All right, we got something moving here. Here's Piper. So yeah, there's the, the diagram. That helps a little. Piper! Hmm. Alright, runner's not tagging, it looks like. That would have been it. That She was trying. She had a good hit on that ball. Unfortunately, it was not quite enough, as we now have two gone. Come on, now. Oh, swing and a miss. All right, come on now. That B, I think it might be. 
and calling and catching, ending the inning and crushing our hopes are the Travelers. Ouchie. All right, Ella, come on. Have yourself another good inning. And uh, that's not how you do that, ma'am. Giving up a leadoff hit on the first pitch. Forest fires. Trouble hit a home run, I believe, to initially take the lead for the Travelers. That was a two-run shot. Trying to do it again. And there's no way. Mm. Our defense needs some help, friends. So after this game, we'll go ahead and take a look at our player development. We'll sim a game, look at our player development again, and um, get ready to play the next game in the next part of this series. I'm looking forward to uh, actually taking it to the Travelers. Hopefully we can uh, get something going and, and uh, beat them. Because this is not beating them. Not by a long shot. Down by four runs. Later in this ball game, we are in the seventh. What's the, uh, if you played baseball, what is uh, the story you have about like the best comeback in a game? Um, you know, being down late or, you know, tied and, and something crazy happening. Um, did you have a... Uh, a role to play in it or were you watching when it happened uh, and if you don't play baseball what's the craziest sports comeback story that you have either seen in person or, or watched in your lifetime and have a good memory of throw some comments in there for me and we are now down big 7-1 poor Ella cannot seem to put away this travelers ball club who are Running away with the East, or excuse me, with the West. Sitting in first place in that division, which they have been essentially since the start of this season, as Ella can't escape further damage, giving up a walk. A painful half inning here for Elevator. She started off so strong and is... Not going to finish that way. Defense gets the play to end the inning, though. Well, another two runs. I mean, it's not like they're overall. I mean, if our offense was doing a little better, we'd be in this ball game. Unfortunately, the pitching has let us down, and, and the girls have not been able to pick up the bats in this one. The starter, I believe, is still in. For the Western Travelers. And that's going to be an easy play there. Well. Charlie. Stands in there with a strike. And another. Three pitch strikeout for Charlie Angels. Not what you want to see. And pretend. Two outs now. Unfortunately, it's looking like we're going to drop another ball game in this one unless the girls can really get it going in a hurry, and that's not going to do it. As we move to the eighth, down by six. Hmm. All right. Strike there. Ellis... Sticking around. Two strikes. Let's go, Ella. Mm. Come on, girl. Let's get it. There it is. Nice. You gotta look at the small things. When you're in a game like this, and the way that I like to look at baseball, especially having worked with like a collegiate team, is even if things aren't great for like the team, you know, you're you're down big. Um, look for those little moments of, hey, you can pick up a strikeout here. Hey, you know, that was a good defensive play for an out. You know, it may not make the ultimate difference, uh, but it, it might. And uh, those are important things. I believe that was Buzz that is now in for us. And it is indeed. Nasty ERA for her as well. I mean, our pitching could certainly use improvement. That is undeniable. 
especially on the, the bullpen side. Um, which is why I think I mean, Buzz is one of those players I'm not sure. I mean, especially giving up walks when we're down big is it, not helping. Ella, you know, getting knocked around a little bit. I think if she can get some better control and get some, you know, junk and, and speed and, you know, all of those things just a little bit more, I think she would do well. And that's trouble. Gonna get down out there. Hmm. Couple of runs coming in to score on the double there. Not our game, and I don't think it's gonna be our series, to be 100% honest with you. It's uh, just one of those things. I'm impressed you made that play. Come on now, Buzz. Two gone. Let's uh, let's finish this up here and move us to the bottom of this one. Because this is not doing it. That will, though. All right. To the bottom of the eighth. Only down by eight. You know, I mean, this is the story of the last few games for us. And they're finally going to give a, a new um, a new arm to the, uh, the pitching. Or the bull I can't. The Travelers have a new pitcher. That's, that's the TLDR. And I didn't read any of it. And that's probably going to be good for a first out. Yep. I mean, on a team this power hit heavy, you, you need to put things together. That's the bottom line of, of this team today. And the only hit that we've had is not the only hit, but the only run support we've had was from the long ball. There's been no other production. Excuse me. Sleepy, man. It's been a busy day, busy day. That could have been a good play. It was not. But we'll take the runner on at first. That's a nasty pitch. What are you doing? Oh, man. Trying to put something together. And what should have been a double play is going to turn into nothing. And we've got a few on, and that's going to bring up Miss Piper piping. Wow. All right. I hear my phone chattering in the background. Turn her off for the moment. There we go. Oh, that's not what we needed. Oh. Ouchie. Two of the ninth. Still down by eight runs. Probably not going to be our ball game. I hope you've enjoyed this series and, and you know what we're doing here. Um, All right. Number seventeen. I don't know why in the world you would ever put your closer in with a score like this, but maybe they're just kind of sick of what's going on. I don't really understand what the goal of having her pitch right now is, but apparently, you know, want to give up a few more hits. So, whatever. This one's kind of a toss-up anyhow. We're uh, about out of outs and... Not finding the zone. All right, two and two. Come on, laundry. Just did laundry, actually. All right, got herself a strikeout there. 
the catcher, number nine. So, we got, looks like a runner on first. Two gone. Let's see if these facilities can get out of trouble. You bet she can. Well, there is an uh, upside there. Laundry put up a zero, and we head to the bottom of the ninth with some work to do. That being the understatement of this ball game and the understatement of this series. Down 9-1. And that could have been a way to start it. It will not instead. Two more outs for us. So overall, this has been about what I figured it would be in terms of uh, how this game would play out for the victory against... I mean, we're going to have to have way better pitching and way better fielding in the playoffs if we even hope to get very far um, against a team like this, whether we play them directly or, you know, not. But take a walk in the ninth, you bet. Here's Charlie. Runner on. One gone. Ooh, trying to make a crazy play there on the foul. Come on, Charlie. She's fighting. And that, friends, is why I like Charlie Angels. Able to get us back a little bit closer. Might not be much, but it's something. It's 9-2. You have to like that. Charlie never, you know, she's shown a lot of tenacity on this team in terms of not giving up in those big spots and putting something together when she needs to. And that's going to do it. A double play there gives the Travelers a win. You got to like the fight of Charlie Angels, but not this game was it enough. And there is a look at the numbers. Hope you've enjoyed this one. We're going to quick head back. As we look at the MVPs there. Unfortunately, none of them were ours. So, we're going to move into the rest of the series. But before we do, we're going to hop into some player development. See if we have anything new available there. I will uh, sim the next two games really quick. So that you guys have an idea of um, where we are at have a few we have one new uh thing here so behind we could get her power and contact up i am going to do that because i think b needs it power and contact both not bad stats for her but we're going to go ahead and do that for b 90 power 58 on the contact front and laundry. I didn't think I liked this trait, and I don't. So we're not going to do that now. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to simulate the CPU games from around the league. As you can see, we are now in uh, second place by a full game to Korea. And uh, the Travelers are just kind of running away with everything. So we're going to simulate this game. I'm scared to do this, but here we go. It's probably not going to be pretty. Ah, 4-1. So closer, but not close enough. So I'm going to simulate the CPU games one more time. Go ahead and get... Out of there now. I want to make sure 100% that we have two more games in this series, which we do. So we're going to simulate this one as well. Oh, I hate simulating the games. It hurts. It hurts. We're dropping in the standings. We won one. Holy Hannah. Wow. So next episode, we go for a series split against a crazy good baseball team. 
So stick around. We will see if we can split this series against the Travelers at home before we take a road trip. Thanks for checking this out. If you have any feedback or ideas, I'd love to hear them. And we'll see you for a big one. Peace.